All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Rusty Tabisco episode eight. Uh, I've got nothing to say for the start of this episode, but as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. <laughs> are they playing Yu Gi Oh? He's basically playing Yu Gi Oh with like controlled zombies. What the fuck is wrong with his head? He turned him into a mushroom? What is this? Just shoot him! Q. Oh shit, they beat the hell out of her. Oh no, dude. Is she doing all this for Jabby? Bruh. Ah, dude. That's fucked up. Nah, dude, I think you need help, Pau. Jesus Christ, really biting the heart into his lips. Bro, if Bisco was here and he wasn't, like, heavily injured, he really could have helped here. Which he can't give him. Because it's Bisco, is what makes this. This guy's evil, bro. Hella evil. How did he do that to people? Some, some, some kind of fucked up infectious mushroom or something. Is that blood? There's something else. It's like a bomb. It's like a chemical thing. Yes. Let's go, Milo. Milo's a proper little goddamn mushroom mushroom keeper. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh my god, Milo turned off, bro. Let's go. Oh, oh, bro. Milo's turning off. Let's go. Bro, his character development went from sweet old doctor to mushroom keeping killer. Did he just get stabbed? No, it's like some kind of dart. What is this? Oh shit, he's got antidote for it. This guy knows how to fight mushroom keepers, bro. This ain't good. <gasps> is he? Oh my god, that's crazy. Is he like the psycho one from the flashback? What? That's an insane mushroom. So this is one of the fucked up mushroom keepers. Or maybe the only fucked up mushroom keeper. He doesn't want to actually cure rust? What the fuck? Wait, then if he was a rust eater, then his blood would be able to be done with the... Not a rust eater. If he was a mushroom keeper, then his blood would help with the rust eater. Or was it just Bisco? I can't remember. I swear it was all rust eater blood is kind of special. Rusty, again, a mushroom keeper is what I'm trying to say. The answer is mushroom keepers, though. It's it's going to be bad if you tell them. This dude is evil, evil, bro. Bisco jumps in. Come on. Let's go. My fucking boy. Let's get it. <laughs> Is he thinking, he's making him think he's gone crazy. Ew. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, that's cool. Oh, no way. He's making some kind of acid. <laughs> Look at him. He's so funny, bro. So are you, bro. 
I don't actually think he looks any different, he's just got bandages on. Bisco is in better shape than you, I think. Oh, that's a good point. He is literally the reason why Mushroom Keepers have a bad name. I'd laugh if he just said no. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, damn, boo. Wait, did he have like a, me like a metal arm? Or was it a real arm and it just had like the crossbow mounted to it? Who did that? Oh no, the puppet mushroom. Wait, is he pu puppet shroom in Bisco now? Oh, it was a prosthetic, okay. Oh, rust arrows, bro. Bro, Bisco's gonna be rusted the fuck up. Right, now somebody else needs to jump in. Jabby, save, sister. Sister, come beat this guy's ass. Come on. Time up. Dude. Oh, shit. He told him. I bet he'll still make you do it. Motherfucker, dude. Milo, that was a bit dumb of you, to be honest. This music's getting me hyped up. Something, some, someone needs to come, though. The music in the show actually slaps. Did he catch it? This freak of nature. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Did that go right through his eye? Surely that would have gone through his brain. Let's go. Is this Jabby? <laughs> yeah, sir. Let's go. Fuck this dude up, man. Come on. Look at him. It's still on the ceiling. MVP. MVP. Let's go. Tampered with a few things. Oh, what's going on? Oh no, what is it? Did that hit him? Oh no, it's just some mindless zombies. Where's, where's Aktagawa? Come on, Mr. Crab. Where you at? You better escape, Jabby. Come on. How is this dude still alive, bro? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> You're just princess carrying Bisco like that. Ow. Are these rust arrows? Shit, they are. That's not fair. That is not fair. He's gonna die! Bro, he's taking rust arrows and bullets. This is not fair. Probably not. Bro, definitely not. It literally doesn't look like the rust arrows are affecting Bisco. Milo better not die here, I swear to God. Really? 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 Wow, okay. Alright, so that was Rusty Tabisco episode 8. Uh, wow, okay. That was a energetic, pretty damn awesome episode, but it really seems like Milo's done for. And, like, we won't know till the next episode, but can't really take like four or five rust arrows in the back and it, what sounded like a gunshot as well he's not like superhuman i don't i don't know if he can survive this honestly he, this might be the end for him which is gonna suck i mean it's only episode eight 
and like he's the main one of the main characters so really gonna suck um but yeah overall very good episode it was cool seeing jabby come back saving the day i really thought like this if the story was gonna kill off someone like i wouldn't want it to happen but it could have been that could have been jabby's kind of way of you know exiting in a heroic manner not milo <laughs> you know he's like one of the main characters it's not fair Haru's gonna go fucking insane. She's gonna go berserker mode if he actually dies. Hopefully she can get her rust cleared up before that so she can be at full power. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.